up, folks? Hello! Remember how I said yesterday's video we was hunting in a windstorm? Well, that was in Kansas. We're in eastern Colorado here. It was a windstorm here as well. We had over 100 mile per hour winds here. And this son of a bitch just flew right off. This one flew right off. But check this one out over here. This one snapped in half. But it's still up there because I have flex tape on it because with the winds it would rotate like crazy so i put flex tape up there and then it just snapped in half so i'm thinking that these nice 40 dollars black barn lights weren't such a great idea and the problem is with the steel building you can come over here to my man door light too this one's usually protected by the wind but there's no way to like solidly hook your lights up because it's just this you know it's like this just steel that isn't flush so i don't know if any of you guys have any experience with that but let me know in the comments i appreciate it today's gonna be a great day man look at this it's december it's almost christmas and it's beautiful out it's 50 degrees the sun shot into my face i feel great oh baby bro law's back it feels like good old day son here on out loud doors before we go any further i just want to give a huge shout out and a cheers to today's sponsor of the vidya chew on this seasonings hey man i brought you some spices all good man I already got some. Whoa, is that a dip can? Yeah, it's called Chew On This. Fits in my pocket so I can slather my meats anywhere. Even in the forest? Yeah. Uh, what about a custom seasoning just for chicken? Oh, you mean Mother Clucker? Yeah, but I have a season off for everything. So do I. It's called Species Sprinkle. Okay, but yours is smaller than my shaker and it'll run out quicker. Unlike yours, mine's refillable. So I save money and the whales. Wow. Can I get a pinch? Shake, season, spread, serve. Dip into the future of seasonings today. Making some jerky, baby. This right here is from the two deer that I just shot. Been shaving off some meat. About to go in this dehydrator right here. But like I said, this video is sponsored by Chew On This Seasonings, which you can see our six pack rack right here, which comes with our dip can seasonings. This one's Mother Clucker, Backwoods Barbecue, Wishing I Was Fishing. We got spices for everything. Here's our refill bags. And I wanted to announce we just dropped our brand new Chew On This Seasonings utensil set, which is awesome, man. Super high quality stuff. Look up in here, man. It's engraved on the stuff. We got a, for, a meat fork in here. We got a spatula. We've got some skewers for shish kebabs or whatever you want to do. And then some tongs here as well. These are up on the website, chewonthisseasonings.com. And we're also on Amazon as well. Dip into the future of seasonings today, baby. Slather your meats with some mouthwatering spice. Chewonthisseasonings.com. Link is in the description box. Let's get playing with our meat, son. We had these marinating all last night. I mean, I just use kind of whatever, Worcestershire, soy sauce, uh, garlic powder, onion salt, stuff like that. I'm not too crazy about it. I don't go nuts. I'm not a huge jerky guy, believe it or not, but in-law and everybody else in my family is. And every time I shoot a deer, everybody's always texting me like, are you gonna make jerky? Are you gonna make jerky? So. That's what I'm doing for everybody right now. Some pieces are a little thicker than the others, but seems to always turn out pretty good. Got some silver seams still on some of these, but you know what? They'll have to deal with it because I'm not eating it, right? <laughs> but right after I put these down, I'm gonna dry them off and then I'm going to uh, throw some chew on this seasonings on all of them. Just wanted to show you guys a couple things me and bro i've been working on lately i've been hanging stuff up on the wall you know we're not the greatest of friends we got a little copenhagen thermometer over here got the outlaw flag up got the four wheelers over here got a ladder up because i've been having some issues with the garage doors and obviously the lights we got some dip signs up in here we got some more to hang up it, not, nothing's finished yet you know what i mean outlaw logo hung up over the the deal that noise in the background's the heater it's finally done which is beautiful it's running right now we'll show you guys that in a minute everything's a mess and just unloading everything from uh kansas this is the rifle i got from the sig sour hunter games it's unloaded the freaking 6.5 Creedmoor. This is their cross rifle. Super sweet rifle from SIG with the BDX system on top. 
range finder. I can range something at 800 yards. It'll calculate it in a scope. No freaking dope sheet or anything you need. It's, it's dope, man. I love it. The rifle's super light and just, it looks good. Got to give a big shout out to SIG for that one. Uh, we've been doing a bunch of meat work and stuff in here. Uh, it's all my camera gears over here. Like I said, signs up. It's kind of a mess in here right now, but yeah, heater's done. That thing took a while to get hooked up. It's propane. We got the, the propane tank hooked up outside. It's a Modine 250,000 BTU propane heater. We got it all hooked up. It is warm, dude. It, it's just, we're right in the line of sight right now and it feels so gosh dang good. And when I get it, I keep it usually around 50 overnight because I'm not out here overnight, but in the morning, I'll just come in and pop it up to 60 and it'll heat up within like 10 minutes. It becomes a sauna in here if it gets over 60 degrees. Feels good. Glad to have that hooked up for the winter because it really is getting cold. Got the pool table hooked up as well. Been playing a lot of pool out here, a lot of billiards. Actually, my pop outlaw got this table for me for like free doing a basement job. And they were like, hey, you know, take a little bit off your price and we'll give you this pool table. So got that. Just got it refilted and the new uh, pockets in. Awesome, some new sticks. And dude, we got mounts up on the wall, but these are not even close to all of them. They're kind of just sitting all around. Got my Kansas buck from a couple years ago, just sitting around here because all of my Africa mounts are finally getting delivered here in the next couple weeks, right before Christmas or right after Christmas. And then I'm just gonna be inviting all the buddies over and we got tons of mounts going all over the wall. So it's gonna start looking a lot different in here, baby. Since this is the little pool table bar area, I got some bourbon barrels I'm gonna put back there with a little mini bar in here. We got the skull light up sign, Stoker's clock. Gonna put a dartboard back here. Wanna put a poker table as well. Little couch with a TV. Bear's hanging down right now because the thermostat got in the way, so I gotta move the bear somewhere. But it's coming along, man. Sometimes I turn the big ass fan on as well, kind of push the heat down, but that thing does a great job in itself. It's a little ugly and it, I, I wish it didn't have to go right in the middle of the freaking wall that I'm gonna have all my mounts on. But with the Unistrut, that's how we wanted to mount it. That freaking heater weighs like 300 pounds. Seemed like the safest place to mount it and the best. So to actually keep it warm in here and not die. Uh, we're getting a lot of work done. So it, it's coming along in here and every day it's like we get something new done. I guess the next thing on the list is to work on that K20, get the drive shafts in for that because I've only been talking about it for 14 and a half years. All right, I got to give a huge shout out to my boy Parker and his girl Shauna for this right here. Traeger hooks up with Whistle Pig and they make some smoke stock whiskey. What? And so this isn't bourbon, it's whiskey. Very interesting to me. Okay, I'm a Traeger guy. I have a Traeger. I've had a few over the years. I love it. I just smoked some deer tenderloins on the Traeger last night and I was talking to Shauna Parker's girl and I'm like, hey, I I've never seen this before. She's like, take it, take it. She just gave it to me. And uh, I was like, this is the perfect thing to do for a Vigia. I don't know if you guys have seen this around yet. I'm interested in it. I'm a Whistle Pig fan. Probably my favorite from Whistle Pig is the er old, old, the old world rye. But this says aged in Traeger wood fired barrels. They're calling it Smokestock Whiskey, limited edition, 86 proof, uh, it's whiskey, so obviously it's not 51%. Corn, born to be sipped low and slow, just like cooking your meats, baby. Wood fired, limited edition. All right, whistle pig, let's try this out. I brought a bourbon glass out here, whiskey glass, a little rocks glass, rambling ranch. Let's try this together, y'all. If you got a little whiskey, if you got a little bourbon at home, let's try this, or if you're not of age, get some freaking water, okay? Ethan, gosh dang it, Ethan. You're such a rebel. Ooh. All right, first sniffle. Just smells like straight rubbing alcohol, to be honest. I'm not a big whiskey guy, to be honest. I mean, the, the, the most whiskey I probably drink. I'm not a big Irish whiskey guy. There's a few Irish whiskeys I like, but it just doesn't smell horrible. It smells mostly like rubbing alcohol with a little bit of smoke, like, you know, uh, What's that stuff called? Um, what's the stuff we put you put in meat? The liquid smoke. <laughs> smells like liquid smoke a little bit with rubbing alcohol. It's not horrible. I smell, I, I'll be honest, I smelt this a couple hours ago and it smelled like straight rubbing alcohol. But that's not what's important. Let's get us a freaking taste up in here, okay? Cheers, folks. Traeger whiskey. Let's try it out. Man, yeah, it definitely just smells like I'm about to, oh, I got a cut on my finger. I need to put this on there. I actually did cut my finger yesterday. It's probably a good idea. Well, very smooth for sure. I mean, it's only 86 proof is what they said. Very smooth. Almost tastes like rubbing alcohol. Don't ask me why I know what that tastes like. Oh my gosh. 
Are you, when you hit that, come over here and try this. <laughs> I'm out, law, and I'm out, y'all, and this is... In law, and I'm in, y'all. <laughs> Cheers. Blast from the past, baby. Yeah, try that. Well, don't take it like a shot. I still needed some more. Damn drug addict. Or mm. Alcoholic. <laughs> How is it? That's good. You like it? it? Went, yeah. It you went. like sweet, fruity stuff. So maybe that's why he likes it. But to <laughs> yeah. me, that just tastes like straight rubbing alcohol. Yeah, this is a good shot whiskey, I would say. Yeah, but that's, but that's definitely really some smokiness to it and a little bit of a... Uh, I, like I mean, that. they say it's aged in Traeger wood fire barrels. Is that really true? Who knows? Because, I mean, they would have to be working on that for quite a while. Who knows how long they age it for? Pictures or didn't happen. Yeah, picture or didn't happen, dude. Yeah, it doesn't say anything else out here. Just bottled in Vermont. Dang, dude. I mean, it's not horrible if you're a whiskey guy, you like a little bit of a, a, a lighter alcohol, and you like barbecuing, this might be for you. I could name about 20 other bourbons I'd rather be drinking uh, while on the barbecue, but this is a good intro, I guess. It's a good marketing piece. I bet you they'll sell a lot of those. Traeger whiskey. You know, I have quite the bourbon collection, and I've tried a lot of bourbons over the past year, pretty much. I've been really getting into bourbon a lot lately. This is not really high on the list, but I would say, you know, kind of like how fireball is to parties if you're having a bunch of people over for a barbecue and you don't want to pop out the the real expensive bourbon or the real expensive whiskey this is a good one to pop out i mean this was probably 20 bucks or something i don't know i mean i honestly i'm not the one who bought it thanks shauna for this bottle but it, it can't be that expensive a lot of rubbing alcohol and a lot of smoke smoke stock whiskey get smoked i got a friend of mine you guys may know him as talon Sai. What a freaking badass name he's got. Talon, like a freaking eagle Talon is just coming down to freaking stab you. You know what I mean? My good old buddy Talon Sai, who's a YouTuber as well. More in the overland knife and gun space. Man, he does a lot of the same stuff I do. I think I need to tag along on an overland trip with his. Maybe we'll talk to him about that. Be like, what you got coming up, man? Let's, let's roll together, man. Uh, but I... Uh, he moved down here last year. He's been asking me for freaking months to give him some elk meat. And I feel bad because I've been gone. He's gone. We're gone a lot. So I'm going to give him some elk meat right now. And then also I bought him a bottle of bourbon uh, as a housewarming gift. And, we've, and he was waiting to crack it open to try it with me. That's what we're going to do. Maybe we'll share a little meat and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll drink a little bourbon as well. I think I might try, have him try this whistle pig. I brought that along too. And I brought up some other, some, some other special goodies as well. So we're heading to Talon's. Let's go see what this son buck is up to. Chicken cock. I've been sitting on this one for like over a year. Dude, it's been, <laughs> how, when did you move in? Over a year ago, and you came and helped me move my gun safe, like right around that time. Yeah, so this bit, heavy. I've been waiting to drink this. Everyone's like, "Oh, let's drink chicken cock," and I'm like, "I don't even know what it tastes like." I'll so. be honest. I mean, it's not. It's nothing like what I'm gonna have him try today. But I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's I had smells, it on a camping trip. Just picked it up, but it's it was top. Good. It was top shelf at the store. Doing a little ice with mine. Yeah, just give me a little. Just give me a little. Cause we're gonna try some more. Yeah, we yeah. got a bunch here. A little chicken cock, Kentucky. And it's bourbon. I just, I like the bottle. It's it got is a like, cool bottle. Like the chicken wire on it and stuff. Not bad, dude. All right, cheers. Cheers. Here's to your new house that you've been living <laughs> in for been eight here years. And out. That's good. It's Not light. Horrible. Yeah. It's light. I think it's 90 proof. Yeah, it's 90 proof. Yeah. It's light. It's almost got a rye taste to it. Like yeah. a little grassy. You yeah, know I, don't, what I, mean? I don't like stuff that's like super spicy. Yeah. Or just like has just a ton of notes all over the place. This is good. I could just drink that straight for sure. It's uh, to me, it's probably definitely got a lot more rye than barley or something. I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, I like it. It's not bad. But this, I mean, we've tried it now, but now I've got something. I, uh, well, first of all. Well, I know, I I know all three of those. Ma but. Merry Christmas. No, you can't years. give me another bottle. No, that's 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 Merry Christmas. Because you know that's You've had that, right? Yeah, Eagle Rare is great. Okay, Eagle Rare is great. This will right? be a good one to add to the collection. And it's impossible to find in Colorado, so. Is it? Up. I haven't even looked. But, but yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. Thank you, man. And I got the hookup with a giant box. <laughs> so. Uh, he was bringing me all the gifts. Yeah, and that's that one's one of my favorites because, you know, got good hints of vanilla and, and all that stuff so yeah yeah merry christmas to you because i probably won't see you because you're leaving i appreciate it man Thank and you. then i just bought this this is the video today that i did i got this in kansas with me and i'm a big fan of whistle pig i like their old old world rye but this is a uh, collab with traeger with traeger that's interesting it's whiskey it's not bourbon but i'll be honest it's like, 
No? He's not a fan? He's a little... It kind of, because it's so smoky, it kind of smells like a scotch, but... It smells like straight rubbing alcohol to me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll but, the, that but then I brought you the good good. The Weller... The Weller Full Proof. Full Proof. Yeah, they tried to get 700 bucks for me out of that bottle. <laughs> Seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I didn't. It was it was three. I got it for three. That's probably the greatest bourbon I've ever had in my life. I'm a big fan of weeded, but that's just. I mean, you can't beat it. It's foolproof and it drinks like freaking ninety proof. It's what is it? One hundred one twenty. One fourteen and it drinks like a ninety proof, dude. It's so, so that's good. Straight out of the cask. It is beautiful. That's so we gotta try that too. Gonna let's be spicy. let's get this chicken cock now. This stuff's not bad. I dig it, dude. Look at this freaking setup in here, man. <laughs> I just did a mail time video God. and just opened a bunch of junk. Check this thing out. Jerry can filled with smoke wagon. Oh, not that what? You, not that you would mix that with Coca-Cola, but it's like Dude. a Jack and Coke setup. No way. Little glasses and everything. Where'd you get this? Uh, birthday gift from Mike, last line of defense. Oh yeah. And my buddy Danny Gundy. Dude, I want to be his friend. <laughs> you, you should be. me up? Yeah. Golly. I hang out with Mike all the time. My birthday's coming up in eight months. Perfect. Let's get this done, Only son. Only eight months away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to probably finish this video over on Talon's channel. Make sure you're going to go uh, hit him up. I'll put his link in the description box below. Just had to come bring him some bourbon. And, and thanks, some buddy. meats. Thank you, man. And some meats. Yes, and some meats. <laughs> Damn, son. Look at that. My goodness. It's a lot of jerky. It's actually not as much as I... Uh, thought but it fit on 10 trays perfectly just have one of these little cabela's dehydrators me and in-law got it uh like three or four years ago we've been doing jerky every year ever since but a bunch of different chew on this seasonings on here i think it looks great i'm about to take this freaking dip out and give me a taste all right let's try this one i think this is fine swine just get a little piece here Oh my gosh, dude. Marinate your jerky first. I'm telling you guys right now. Ooh, that's spicy. I'm not a huge jerky guy, but that is good, son. I'd say, look at this, dude. I'm drooling. Can you see my drool? Holy crap. Two Kansas bucks right there. This is from uh, uh, three years ago. This is from this year. Just got them up on these skull hookers here. These things are freaking awesome, these skull hookers, but they're, gosh, so freaking expensive, man. Oh, let me make with some bit don't go broke, man. A hunter has already got to buy all this freaking crap that costs a gajillion dollars. And then when we shoot something, it's like, oh, we want to make it look nice. Let me spend $60 on a freaking stand. But I love them, so yeah. They look good, man. I don't know. They look real good. All right, y'all, I, the past three days have been constantly nothing all day. I don't even know what I'm saying. All day, every day for the past three days, nothing but dealing with this meat. So I'm officially done with this jerky. I'm gonna get some vacuum seal bags, get her up, hand them out to the family as little Christmas gifts. And uh, that's it, man. So now I can focus more on Vidya stuff. A lot coming in the next Vidya. I'm excited about it because I want to get y'all involved a lot more like we used to back on the live to thrill days so i'll be letting you guys know in the next one on that but hey man we're uploading quite a bit over here on outlaw doors so please hit that gosh dang subscribe button and as you saw a uh, little midget outlaw earlier you best freaking hit that like he does look pretty intimidating had fun spending the day with you let's do it again love y'all my name's outlaw on the mat yeah make sure and grab all the ammo they heard we're looking like